the formidable robot. It's been quite a long time since I rambled about logos. Well, after some hesitation and some thinking, it's time I open the vaults on the darkest logos that do exist and aren't on YouTube. Some rules, only official logos and not customs, must be a company and variants are allowed. Let's start. Mad Dog Productions. A pretty old example of the jump scare logo department. This one is plain and simple. It shows a jump scare image of an angry dog with the company name shown. What makes this slightly creepy is the snarling and the variants don't help. As accordingly on Outlaws, the snarling is different, and on Humanoid Defender, the ending theme of the series plays. All I can say is that, if you're easily scared, then don't watch the logo if any of the two shows are on. A Don Silman Sullivan Marshall production. On a disturbing note, we have this one. A company called Don Silman Sullivan Marshall Production, the company who made Growing Pains and produced by Warner Brothers Television. The logo is described as such. We see an old house at night. An insane looking man walking on the left side of the roof stumbles and falls two stories into some bushes below. What makes this intentionally funny yet creepy is the realistic scream of the guy heard when he stumbles, just adds to the creep factor of how disturbing it is. But the proudest and kings of disturbing logos goes to Horror Factory, from 2014 up to 2016. These logos in its entirety is one of the crowning achievements of jump scare logos. Something that jumps out of nowhere each time. It's even more disturbing than Blumhouse and even Monkey Paw Productions. But if you think these logos are disturbing, in the next discussion piece, it'll be talking about lost media. In the meantime, make sure to sleep with the lights on, 